Hello guys, welcome back. Today in this video, I'll tell you how you can easily develop a online food ordering website using PHP, MySQL and JavaScript. So now let's start. So first we will check the system that I have already developed. So you can see the website, online food ordering website here. You can see, see the front page. Actually, this is the front end. Here you can see the header and there is a menu like you can check the pool list, card, login. So all this you can check here and then there is a list of all foods here. You can see the list of food like food, picture, image, details, price, and then add to cart with quantity. And the functionality will work like uh, add to cart. So this is added to cart and also when click add more then can add more items to the card. So this is our card and the user can also make this card empty by clicking this. Also check out and login. So then when click on check out, the system will ask for login, user login to process the checkout. So this is our system you can see this is the front end and then also the system have uh, back end. So this is the back end means admin section where the administrator use, uh, can manage the customers like add customer details, add edit customer details, delete and the administrator can manage food items like uh, add new food items here like uh, add new food items to uh, name, food name, uh, photo, price, description and also uh, they can edit here. The administrator can edit the food details here and can also able to de delete and the administrator will be also able to manage orders here like view order like clicking this the details are like order date order number customer name and the uh, food item that is included in the order so also can delete order and also can add new order uh, the administrator also will be able to manage the uh, users that is that will manage the admin sections so this is the users uh, the administrator can add more administrators like uh, from here by adding also can edit delete so and also here is our logout uh, so this is the admin section and you have seen that this is the front end so i had tried to uh, implement as much as more functionality to give you an overview of food ordering website uh, for you to enhance you can enhance this at your end to make it a complete system so guys uh, now let's proceed to uh, to the database actually i have already uh, uh, tell you the system will be uh, developed using php mysql and jquery javascript so now we'll check the database what the structure of database so mysql database so here i am using the php my admin interface here we have already created a food order website database and have three tables the one user that is the the users that uh, manage the admin section so these are stored in the user table and food customer the customer details that's the customer detail uh, to check out the order so these, uh, this is the login details of customer here uh, the table structure you can see the table structure is here the table structure is this id it is this is a primary uh, field name and auto increment this is the customer name wirecare 255 email wirecare password wirecare phone number and address this is the customer details and the next table is items food items so the structure of food items table is the id food id this is the auto increment primary name of food price description images status you can see all the fields and their types so this is our food item table the third one is food orders the structures of food order is uh, order id this is also primary key and auto increment and the food orders orders item id name price quantity order date the date of order and order id and user id the user that have check out the order 
so this is the that user id means customer id so this is the customer id so this is the structure of data of our database uh, so the food order website database so the, here we, we we have used four tables the main tables are food customer items food items food orders and then users this for uh, accessing the administrator section so guys you have seen the database structure so now we will move to the coding so now we'll move at the code level so here we have already developed the system so here is our food order website we have already uh, the project name so this is the structure of our file so actually this directory is for admin section the, all the files uh, located in this directory for accessing the admin section the classes these are the front end so here is these php files are the, for the front end uh, these are the included file and see like header footer and the images are stored here css config classes and the, this is the database file actually here we have actually uh, copying the dump data so for using for further so now we will uh, start checking the code so the first one is actually uh, we will first check the front end so the front end so when the system will load the index.php is called so this is the index of index.php file so the index.php file is here it is actually we have listed the all items food items so you can see here uh, the food items we have uh, here called a item list here we getting the all item list into towards result variable and then loop through this and listed all so let's check the item list method actually item list list item uh, method is uh, called from food food class so here is you can see that we have included the food class and then we have get the object of food class and here we have called this so now let's check the food class so here all classes are here in class directory so the food class is here you can uh, see So in which here we have a query select ID name price description image status from the uh, item list. So here we are uh, getting the all result and then return these and we loop through and displaying the all items here. So you can see the HTML and the code PHP code that we are using like here. Uh, we are displaying here we are we actually it's a form for to add to code to the action for code.php and here for item id uh, on url and then we have displaying the image images here item food item images description the name pricing and then button add to cart here so this is the uh, uh, main page of our front ends that's displaying the food list and when we click on add to cart so it is going to cart.php and add add the items to the cart so let's check the cart.php so this is the cart.php you can see here uh, when the uh, record is added in checking the post action add and then i check the session card and then we add the that item detail to the cart session and so here we are managing that our cart and then we are displaying these uh, items from session here we are looping through to the card session and displaying the item that is uh, added to the card so these are the items added to the card when we click again add more items then it's again going to the index.php and we can add more items and when we click on checkout when we click on checkout it's uh, redirect to the login.php you can see the login.php here this is the login.php here we have a form login form that is asked by user to login so here when user submit this here we are implementing login using the customer actually it's a customer login so here we have a customer class and we have called the metal login okay now we check also the customer class here here is the method called login you can see 
here we are ch uh, checking the email password and then we have a select query on customer table and then we are winding the uh, email password and then execute and get the result if it is successful login then we are passing uh, storing the user detail to the session so this is the uh, customer login so now we have to check the login functionality so now we will log in like uh, we have users like uh, suppose uh, we check the user like here user is uh, William so now we will uh, log in through William at webdent.com and password and now is login successfully so now again we add some more items and then check out so it's go to the checkout.php now we'll see the checkout.php on checkout.php we'll again check for our session card and then display the card details here you can see the uh, uh, here you can see the delivery address is the delivery and then the order summary like item to items delivery total and order detail so this is the details we are displaying from the card session and when we click on place order order place successfully thank you ordering the ordering process is now complete order actually here we are uh, processing directly actually the system have no payment get be integrated so you have to enhance this to uh, integrate the payment gateway but it is a system that you can easily handle so and uh, here is a function you enjoy food again uh, also here you can see the uh, uh, link pull list to see the full list and then actually play uh, the process order uh, php is here you can see the process order actually here we are looping through the session card and insert order details into the table order you can see that a recent order is added to the order table here this is that order table and this is the added into the food orders so now if we have discussed the uh, functionality demo uh, front end of our food web order website front end now we will check the admin section so admin section is here you can see the admin section in admin section uh, we have user section actually here we are handling the uh, managing the user desk and able to handle uh, access the admin section so now actually here user.php in which we have listed the here we have with the table uh, and listed the users list from database and using the jquery data table here actually already you uh, user dot jquery data table file or uh, are included in this uh, in header for you can see this uh, header for we can we check the header for uh, here database data jquery data tables so already included so these, these are used for accessing the data to list in the jquery data table here you can see the user listing in which uh, here ajax request going to uh, to the user uh, action dot php and with the action list user so we'll check the user action on user action you can see here list user calling a list user method also get user details insert update delete. all these methods are called here in user action and from here it is called from user class you can see the user class here this is the user class here we are handling the login using this method login method here is checking the logged in is admin also here and the list user is here implemented to get the list of all users uh, inserting the users updating the users and deleting user. also get the specific user details here get user detail method so and also getting the list of all users to this is the method to return the result of all users so this is the users method so the next is customer uh, here we are listing the customer details can add edit details of customer so here you can check the uh, class customer here we have a method list customer and uh, here we are implementing to get the list of all customer and returning the result also here we are implementing the insert update and delete customer recalls also get the customer details 
here and the functionality we are handling here is a customer.php uh, in which uh, we are listing the here we have already used table in which we are listing the all customer details uh, also we have a model in which we are uh, using this we are inserting and editing the record like uh, when we click the insert model dialog is open to insert the customer details and when we click the edit this is the open to edit the customer details so here we have a customer.php file and the customer action in which we have a actions like list customer then we call met method list customer from customer class on action get customer details we are calling the method get customer details like we are id customer update customer we are calling the inside and update and delete customer we are calling the delete method and these are also we are handling the ajax so here we have making ajax request for listing the users ajax request for adding the user updating users and submitting the user form for inciting and updating records from the user model and also deleting the customer so this is the whole functionality of uh, handling the customer so administrator will be able to manage the food items can add the new food items it is the food items delete so now we will check the functionality here uh, so here we have a food.php file in which we are listing the foods uh, having the model for edit and insert food details and also delete the food and we have a class food in which we have a method already implemented method like list food items to list the food details and inserting the uh, here we are implement, implemented the method insert to insert the food details update food details in update method and delete method we are deleting the food I also get food details to get the special food details so here in J uh, javascript we have a food.js file in which we have make ajax request to list the food using the action list food and the ajax request going to food and it's action.php so this is going to the food underscore accent.php so we have, we will check this this is the file food underscore accent.php in which we are checking the actions and calling the method from the food class like this food item get food details insert food insert food update food details so all these methods are called on the actions like action from the ajax request like action for add food actions for get food details and actions for update and uh, insert for submitting form for adding and inserting also action for delete the food so this is the uh, coding uh, that's implemented for handling the foods uh, food items and now finally we have order so uh, here we can uh, list the order and view the order details so the here we have a file order.php here we have a order dot a php file in which we are listing the order details and also have order details model in which we are from which we are adding new order and also can edit and also view the order details and also we have order action here we have order action.php in which we are checking the actions like list order get order detail delete get to uh, and this is not uh, needed here actually we have not implemented this here so here we are actually we have a list order and get order details and we are we have also here class order in which listing the order details link list the order all order details here and also have a insert query to insert the order and update order delete order so these are methods and here we have uh, query uh, left join query with customer to list the order and we have a order.js file in which we are listing the order also viewing the order details and delete the order so this is the whole functionality that we implemented so now so guys uh, we have discussed the system uh, we have checked our front end we have checked our back end system admin section also database 
So guys, I hope uh, you have enjoyed this tutorial to develop an online code ordering website using PHP, MySQL. You can easily enhance it and uh, as per your requirement, can integrate payment gateway as per your need and make it a full and complete system. So guys, don't forget to like and share this video and also subscribe our channel. Thank you.